returned soon to the Science Museum of Minnesota, John Wilkes Booth, his body has been buried for nearly 150 years. You could be the first to see it along with other historical items from the Lincoln assassination in Booth's life. He was born on a family farm in Maryland on May 10, 1868. Began acting career at age 17, was one of the more popular actors in America in 1860. At height of his acting career, his salary was equivalent to $517,000 in today's money. He didn't join a side in the Civil War, but supported the South. Very outspoken about what he said to the point where some people thought he should be banned from acting. He even attended the hanging of John Brown. Booth's final act was on March 13, 1865 at Ford's Theater, where he often performed. This is Lincoln's competitor in the election of 1865, George B. McClellan. Booth invested a lot of money into him to ensure that he would win. This is Booth's girlfriend. He proposed to her on Valentine's Day, 1865, however, she had no idea that he was going to assassinate Lincoln. His original plan was to kidnap Lincoln and negotiate for his life. The war ended on April 12, 1865 at Appomattox Courthouse. This angered Booth a lot, so he decided instead he would assassinate Lincoln. His original plan was to kill Lincoln, Andrew Jackson, and Secretary of State William H. Seward so that the North would fall apart. However, as history shows us, this did not work. Only Lincoln was targeted. John Wilkes Booth shot Abraham Lincoln at approximately 10 p.m. at Forbes Theater. Lincoln died the next morning. This is Dr. Samuel Mudd. Booth broke his leg while jumping on stage. Dr. Mudd fixed his leg and unknowingly let Booth escape. This is the exact 44 caliber Derringer that Lincoln was shot with by Booth. The reward for John Wilkes Booth was $100,000 and anybody that was associated with him either $50,000 or $25,000. Twelve days later, he was killed at a farm by a Union soldier approximately 50 miles from Forbes Theater.